Hi everyone. Today I am going to talk about uh, Tucson 2022 car. Uh, you might have seen many reviews in YouTube itself, but I am not going to do any kind of review. And the variant of this car is Comfort Plus, which is a mid option. Uh, it's like a quick guide to the first user uh, for the basic setup. So the basic things uh, need to know about the car in the first drive. That's what I'm going to, I'm trying to uh, explain as I know. So let's see from the beginning and I would, I, this, this is just like a, this is just like sharing the information which I know about. So have a look. lock button then uh, hold on to the hold button now car has been started uh, if you want to stop it then again press the hold button it will stop this feature is good especially in summer time uh, the car inside ac will be cooled before boarding next let's see about the smart tailgate so just go uh, near to the tailgate with the key the tailgate will open automatically without doing anything and closing the tailgate can be operated uh, uh, from the switch here and also from the key and from the dashboard so three way we can control the tailgate You can stop the tailgate in middle any any of the position uh, and when you are pressing the switch again it will go up then come back uh, come down again next let's see how to do locking and unlocking so one way is using this key you can do as like you normally know, in other cars then another way you can see a black uh, button in the door handle or front door handle both side so if your key is with you either in hand or pocket just press this button so you can operate locking and unlocking so usually no need to take it out from the pocket this key for the door opening locking and automatic tail gate opening everything this is the interior of this car uh, this is tucson mid option comfort plus 2022 uh, this is the dashboard and there are four usb charging port including one interfacing port in the front side means two two port in front and two port in back the rear passengers have enough uh, space leg space so uh, we feel it's very comfort for us for for our family
Your side has power seat uh, which can be control the position of the seat. And here you can see a button for a uh, cushioning effect in the center of our uh, back support. So it's a good feature I felt because in my old car I was using a pillow to put it back. So in this there is a feature uh, we can adjust. So that's good I feel. This is the switch to move the roof. Uh, I will tell about that. Let's start the car by pressing the start stop button. has a climate control so the temperature will maintain automatically we can slide the roof for panoramic views just by pressing one time in the second time the glass will open We can close using the same button in opposite direction. This is the menu button. You can see the cluster uh, for the user settings. And to enter into that, press OK. And for scrolling, you can use this button. Here you can set everything, uh, blind spot warning. Enable, disable, everything you can do according to your use. This illumination is a cluster display illumination, not the headlight. One touch is also a useful uh, feature. In the side indicator, you can use the uh, one touch, means it's the soft touch. So you can control the timing, how how much time it should flash, seven flash, or three flash, five flash, like that. Similarly, door lock when the door should lock and when the door should open everything you can set according to your uh, preference and here is the power tailgate power tailgate opening uh, as i uh, explained in the beginning uh, you can set the Power, tail, uh, power, power tailgate opening level 
full open double three in different positions and this is the smart tailgate as i told you you don't need to take it out the key from the pocket just go back to the uh, car the uh, tailgate will open automatically so if you are if you are both hand engaged with the luggages so it will be very useful for you and uh, as i said before uh, there are four uh, usb interface but uh, sorry there are four usb charging port but only one has the interfacing capability service interval this is just like a, a reminder means uh, we can set after 1000 km is your first uh, servicing it will remind you and these are the normal settings which you can understand very easily the menu button actually there are three uh, main uh, windows one is user setting second one tire pressure and third one is uh, running kilometer the tire pressure measurement will uh, show only when the car is running This is the parking switch, just lift up smoothly. The parking brake will be engaged, you can see the sign on the dashboard. And when you want to release, just push down slowly, so it will be disengaged. And this is the gear system, uh, drive mode, reverse parking as like in other car, in all, in all the car but not the lever it's a push button switch then parking brake then auto hold auto hold is an another feature uh, in the car if it is enabled it will show white color and when it is activated it will show green auto hold is a feature like when we press the brake the car itself will uh, engage the brake then we can remove our foot uh, the car still be engaged with the brake and when we depress on the accelerator the auto hold uh, will be deactivated temporarily it has cruise control by pressing this switch and by temporarily disconnect or pause by pressing this switch or brake pedal Another feature is start stop, it will be on by default and when we no need we can uh, off it is here. But if the start stop is on it will save our fuel when stopping in uh, uh, traffic block. The engine will stop and when we press the accelerator the engine will start again. The USB port is this is the, the one which we can interface uh, like USB video and USB audio and same port we are using to do the communication with our Android or Apple phone. The multimedia control is available in steering wheel also which can be accessed very easily can change the mode and if you want to set the mode settings just 
press the mode button uh, continuously here we can select how it need to perform when the mode button is pressed and volume key also we can control from steering wheel as well as on the screen and bluetooth settings also so star button one star button in steering wheel and one in uh, one in, one on the screen so both star button we can uh, configure for easy access as a shortcut we can use map navigation by connecting our mobile even offline map so no need to be operate in the mobile directly we can operate from this uh, screen when you go to gas station you have to unlock here to open the tank or fuel tank door and for the mirror adjustment also here for both side Here there are uh, three switches, uh, one for the headlight alignment, traction, then tailgate operate, operation. So here also we can operate the tailgate. And another feature is we can do wireless charging which are the mobile having this feature. Hope this will be helpful for some of you. Thank you.